but I think half of Whanganui's been through it and knows the building or knows somebody that's lived here. And half the country, of course, earlier on, 60 years on, um, stayed here and knew all about it. It's less than a fortnight until tenders close for Whanganui's unique Brayburn house. Originally built as a private hotel, twins Brad and Mel bought it when they were in their late 20s. It was fully tenanted, but um, it was like most of the town in those days. Nobody really appreciated the heritage buildings. You had to have an eye for what, what you wanted to do with it. And for us it was to restore it back to what it was originally, with the open verandas, and have a community of people who just wanted to be here and loved it. The grand building was completed in 1915, commissioned by an unusual bunch of entrepreneurs. A syndicate of journalists from the Chronicle office apparently. Um, someone must have had a bright idea. They must have obviously needed a, a private hotel in Whanganui. And this would have been the newest one. Because when you look at the photos you can see the tall chips tied up outside the river here. And it was a booming town. After purchasing it in 1987, the pair spent five years restoring it back to its original glory after countless modifications and DIY fixes. It got taken over during the war years as a tactical school for officers. And that's when they closed in these wooden verandas to make more bedrooms. And I'm not sure how, many, how long they were in here, but after that, I think it became um, a bed and breakfast. Uh, a lady named Inkster ran it for quite a few years. And then it wasn't until the 60s that um, John Johnston, a retired school inspector, bought it as a retirement hobby and turned it into units. Restoration complete, it seems they've accomplished their goal. I mean, we've had people who stayed here in their honeymoon in their 80s and came back years later, you know, to do a trip um, just to see what it was like and if it was still here. And most of them said it hasn't changed. <laughs> <laughs> Not much more needs doing now, unlike some other old buildings, it meets modern standards. It's earthquake fine, um, it was built as a fireproof building, which was an amazing thing in those days, because a lot of the old wooden hotels, they had a problem of course with a lot of people smoking, and fire was a major hazard. So when they built this, they built it as a fireproof building. There is much speculation as to how much the property will be sold for, with nothing in the wider area to compare it to. Georgie Ormond, Local Focus.